Hey guys, it's Robert. I'm just about to show you how I do this uh, firmware upgrade. This is my fifth NASA light unit that I'm upgrading today. Uh, just ignore the quad. I've just got, um, this is a bit of an experiment in progress at the moment. I've got a KK2 board. I previously was using this NASA light unit and uh, the power supply for it, the, uh, the BEC is just there. So that's why it looks the way it is at the moment. But the, uh, the NASA lights just stand alone. And as you can see, I've got the... Uh, the LED plugged into the computer and let me just run you through the upgrade process once again. So the first thing we do is start this little software program. There it is again, I'll try and get that in focus. Okay, so that's running now and you'll see it says activated. What we then need to do is just run the NASA light software. Okay, there it goes and you'll see the firmware upgrade window comes up just want to get that in focus and now we'll just run the upgrade okay there it goes so what I'll do now is I'll just cycle the power and let me see just have to put this down for a moment. I don't have my assistant here with me. Okay, so cycle the power. And now I'll just turn these, I'll close these software programs. Close that. And close that. Now we'll connect the power again. Much easier when you have a helper. Okay, that's connected again, and now we can open the NASA 2 software. Okay, once again it's saying uh, you need to do an advanced calibration, so I'll get around to that, but I'll just show you once again that the upgrade worked, and there's no GPS connected, so you're not seeing anything there. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that's definitely the NASA light connected and it's being recognized by the V2 NASA software and it's showing the firmware 4.02 so yeah just uh, absolutely guarantee that this is legitimate and it's uh, well, I'm just stoked to be honest you know I'm really really happy because I've got five of these light units and uh, I've now got five of them operating like a V2 which would have cost me another almost another $500 if I was actually buying the V2. So anyway, thanks for watching.